are solving multivariable equations. So this first one, we are solving for y. And our equation is 6y minus x plus z equals 4. So basically multivariable, obviously I have three variables in this one, but I'm only solving for one of them. So we're used to solving for equations when we have one variable, we get everything with that variable on one side, everything that doesn't have the variable on the other side, and then we just do some dividing or multiplying, and then we're in good shape. For these ones, we want to do a similar thing. So we want to get the piece that has our variable. So we want to solve for y, so that's why I highlighted our y. We want to get this piece on one side and everything else on the other side. We want to get rid of that other stuff. So what do I have to do to get rid of my other stuff for this particular equation? Corey? You have to add x and subtract z. Add x and subtract z. Perfect. So I have a minus x and I have a plus z. So I want to reverse both of those operations. So that would be a plus x and a minus z. Usually it's really annoying when you guys two, do two steps at once, but for this, I'll kind of make an exception. Okay, so this is going to go away, this is going to go away, and we have 6y equals 4 plus x minus z. No, it is not, because I want y all by itself. I just want this piece right here. I don't want to know what 6y equals, I want to know what y equals. So what do I have to do to both sides now to get y? Divide by 6. I heard you guys all like mumbling it. So I need to divide both sides by 6. I need to divide this guy by 6. And I need to divide this whole thing by 6. Those go away. And I get y equals this thing. Except what we want you guys to do, listen carefully, is divide each piece by 6. So what this really is, you guys don't have to do this part, but it's going to be 4 over 6 plus x over 6 minus z over 6. So this one, it actually worked out pretty well for us to do that. But this is so we can reduce. So a lot of times we can reduce. 4 over 6 is not in its simplest form, so I need to write this again. 4 over 6 is the same thing as 2 thirds. So 2 thirds plus x over 6, that cannot simplify, minus z over 6. That cannot simplify either. Question Isaac, or is that your question? Or you're just putting your hand up in the air? For a little bit it was. Okay. This is our final answer. Pretty easy, right? Basically just like solving, we just have some more letters now instead of numbers. Okay. This one we want to solve for y. This one's slightly trickier now because I have a y on both sides. So this is kind of like if we were solving for x and I had x on both sides, I would want all of my x's on one side and all of my other things on the other side. So for this one, I need to move my y's to one side and I need to move my other things to the other side. So this one might be smart to take a few steps. What I want to do first is I want to get my y's on one side. So I think I'm going to add 2y. You could do it either way. You could get the same answer. So this is going to get rid of my y's on this side. I'm going to be left with 4x plus 2 equals, this is really 1y, right? So 1y plus 2y gives me 3y minus 4. So now I have my y's on one side, but I need everything that does not have a y on the other side. So what's my next step? Which thing does not belong? The negative 4. So, Bethany, what should I do to both sides? Add 4. Nice. Add 4. Whoa. So, guys, this is where like terms become really important because we have lots of variables. We cannot combine stuff unless it has the same exact variable on it or if it's just a plain old number all by itself. So, for this one, this 4x does not have any like terms, so it's going to come down to be the same thing. 2 plus 4, those are both plain old numbers, so they add together. 4 plus 2 is 6. These 4s went away, and I have 3y. So nothing else can combine here. Make sure you guys aren't trying to squish together stuff that doesn't combine. But I want the y all by itself, not with a 3 on it. So I'm going to have to do what? 
divide by three. Divide by three. So I get that y equals on the right side, that looks kind of funky. And I need to divide each of these pieces by three separately. So 4x over 3 is just going to give me 4 over 3x. 6 divided by 3 gives me what? Plus 2. So you could write this step of breaking it down if you wanted. So 4x over 3, that doesn't simplify. And then it would be plus 6 over 3. And then it turns into this. That can be cancel, or not cancel, but reduce. And this guy is my final answer. Okay. All right, this one, I want you guys to try this with a friend, with a neighbor friend. There's <laughs> a plus five thirds. People who gave me thumbs up, is that the thumbs up to your matching answer? People who gave me thumbs down, do you now feel like a thumbs up? Any questions? Yeah. 4a divided by 3. Same thing. Yeah. This a hanging out here is really in the numerator. All right. Everyone needs to be listening. I don't want to give you guys another repeating part. Okay. Let's try another one. 8p plus 3w equal, equals w minus 15 minus 2p. Sort of difficult to see those pink parts are p's when we are solving for p. All right, I'm going to have you guys help me solve this one. Starting in the back, Lucas, what would be the first thing that you would do if you were solving this yourself? Add 2p to both sides. All right, I'm with you. Sounds good. Okay, so Lucas is having us add 2p. So I combine these are like terms. So 8p plus 2p gives me 10p, and I'm going to rewrite everything else. 3w equals w minus 15. These ones went away. All right, now, Evan, what's the next thing that you would do if you were solving this? By subtracting 3w. I like it. Sounds good to me. All right, so I'd have 10p equals. These guys would cancel out. 1w minus 3w gives me what, Evan? Negative 2w, good. Minus 15. And finally, ev, what would you do to get p all by itself? Divide both sides by 10? <laughs> Divide by 10. So I'm going to get that p equals, Ella, what's p going to equal once I simplify these out? minus 15 over 10. So now, Josh, if I want to make this as simplified as possible, what am I going to have? W minus 3 halves. Perfect. And guys, Isaac asked a good question. If you guys are tripped up on why I'm putting this W next to it, you do not have to do it that way. We could have had negative 1 W over 5. You could just write it that way. Negative 3 over 2. Same thing, you just put those same terms. So he's saying he got negative 3 over 2 minus 1 over 5w. It's the same thing we're subtracting, so those things can just, they're both negatives, they can just switch. If it was 1 positive minus 1, then you'd have to be a little bit more careful. Grab the whiteboard. <laughs> 